Students at Noble High School in North Berwick held a walkout Friday morning, November 19th, to bring attention to the recent alleged sexual assaults at the school. Tell me who you are and what's up. Hi, I'm Allison Hurley. I'm a mom here at the Noble District. These are my kids, Luca and Daisy. Uh, they're taking some time off from school today to support the students up here at the high school. Um, harassment, bullying has been an issue here for a long time, and we want to shed some light on that. So, yeah. Yeah, so for my son, he's been through um, sex education in school. Um, we talk about consent regularly. Um, so for him, we, we talked about some of the more um, specific issues that are going on at the school right now. For my little girl here, we talk about how school should always be a fun and safe environment for her. Um, she knows what bullying is, and she knows that that is not allowed in our household, and it's not allowed at school. I'm here to show support not only for my son, but the other students of bullying, sexual assault, that we're all behind them. There's a peaceful way to do this instead of violence. A posting on social media announcing the walkout stated that the student organizers, quote, are standing with the girls and women in our school who have been sexually assaulted or raped and nothing is being done about it, end quote. It also stated that a classmate, quote, had been raped in school and the boy who did it only got three days suspension, end quote. We're planning to come out, so we're going to need everyone else to just... Noble High School principal, A.J. Dufort, organized the students outside the school and provided a public address system for the speakers. We're going to have some students that make some statements here that, right. uh, that are planned. The student organizers said they could not speak about any specific incidents at the school, but talked about anti-sexual violence support programs the need for communication, and to not hesitate to reach out for help. We're going to take a few minutes to reflect upon our community as a whole. This gathering is to raise awareness about victims and survivors of sexual assault that have not come forward and didn't have the courage to. Um, so if we could just take a few minutes in silence and reflect on our community and ourselves, that would be great. Thank you guys for that moment of silence. Now I'm going to have our other students who helped start this and our principal, Mr. Dufort, come up and speak. Off. If you don't know me, I'm Ella. Um, I have a little brother here, but um, throughout the past few days, students have come together to discuss what we can do moving forward to better support our students and our community um, in our building who have survived words or acts of sexual violence. One initiative we have started putting in place is um, a chapter of RAIN here at Noble High School. RAIN is the largest national organization devoted to anti-sexual violence. We aim for groups to provide resources to students and to support the network of our classmates and our community. So if you guys ever need anything, you have a chance to reach out and get the help that you deserve. I think one of the things that makes our school community and our high school such a great place is that folks are so willing to come and talk and have conversations. So whether it's that relationship you have with your team teachers, whether that's the relationship you have with your school counselors, whether it's you're coming and talking to me or one of the other assistant principals. Principal DeFort encouraged open communications and also to not hesitate to ask for help. Um, I just want to say another thank you. I mean, look around at our entire community that just came out for that. Now, it is important that we go back to block two and we don't take this time to kind of wander around because part of being a community is also respecting the things we can do as a community. So if you guys would all like to go back to block two, now would be the time. Um, we just decided that it was time to take a big step forward and not keeping everything under wraps. I think it's like, we, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, we, as a community, should be able to talk about these things and our people should be comfortable sharing their experiences, whether it's traumatic or not. 
and we just wanted to create a space where everyone can talk about that and not feel like they're gonna get victimized or put down because of their experiences. Is this one specific incident or is this no. sexual assault in general? It's just sexual assault in general. Um, a lot of my friends and peers, they don't want to report it because they're afraid of what will happen to them. Is this happening with your peers? Kind of. What, what are your it's thoughts? not necessarily with my peers. It's just as a community. We yeah, more it. in general of people who have had sexual assault or rape towards them. It's for everybody who was terrified to come out or say something and this is trying to make them realize that it's they, a safe space. It is a safe space to come out and talk to people and not keep it in. That's against it. Why should we stay back inside? This when there is yeah. a rape this, is, this, is, this, is, gonna this is what we didn't want. Yeah. After the organizers spoke and students were urged to return to classes, a couple of students raised their voices about a specific recent incident that they felt was not handled properly by the school administration. Around 50 students remained to hear those complaints. Members of the school district administration watched as more students joined the second group to relate their stories of alleged bullying and abuse in the school. What's your reaction to what's going on today? Well, first of all, I want to say that we um, are very pleased that our students have used this as a forum and an opportunity to talk with administration to plan an event to address sexual violence, not just in our community, but around, um, everywhere. And um, we are listening and respecting their um, ability and their rights to speak and to express themselves and so we're here to uh, acknowledge that um, so that's my initial reaction to this yep what about uh, the allegations that this incident in particular and others have not been handled properly I think what I would say to that is that there are s state statutes and district policies that we need to follow and we follow those and it, whenever there's a concern or um, a safety issue that comes up for everybody or anybody we address it succinctly quickly thoroughly detailed and uh, we work in partnership with different agencies to make sure that everything is being followed correctly and that if it needs to go further than our school that those agencies are aware and take it from from us the parents disagree with that. Mm -hmm. They say that the, the original interviews, the original process of investigating an alleged sexual assault was, was botched. Mm -hmm. And I think I can't comment on a particular case or a particular issue. Um, and it's unfortunate that some information is out there. And um, I just want to reinforce that we do follow procedures. We are very clear and we've had training in procedures and policies and practices. We have an ethical, moral, and legal obligation to work through um, any complaints and issues for our students and staff, and we follow those. Yet they're out here screaming that they don't feel safe in school. The alleged victim hasn't been in school for three weeks because she feels unsafe here. What do you say to these students and their parents when they don't feel safe coming to school? Well, I think this is the start of a good conversation about that. You know, this was a, an uh, opportunity for students to come out and express their uh, desire to work through and identify and um, offer supportive measures for our other our, com our school community as a whole uh, to have a voice and to, um, it's, it's not just at Noble High School, a across the country we've seen moments and movements of, of such, such things happening and that's what our students were a microcosm of that and that's what we're working on. Well, it, according to them it's been going on a long time, why did it have to come to this? I think this is an opportunity that they took. They took this time and this opportunity to do so. I can't tell you, talk about why now versus, you know, t a year ago or two years ago, but I can just say they're taking this opportunity right now to do so. What would you like to add that I didn't ask? I think what I would, would like to add is that um, our high school administrators and all of our administrators in the district are very committed to students and student safety. And you may be hearing other things come out um, from clips that you're going to share and show, but our administrators are dedicated to our students and our student safety, and we take that at top priority. 
and uh, we work really hard with students and parents to make sure that we are being ethical, fair, legal, and respectful. And um, that's what I would like to say. Do you think there'll be a reevaluation of the culture in the school? I think there's always a reevaluation of what you're doing as a building administrator, as a, as a district administrator. We always look at culture and climate in our schools and how to make sure everybody feels safe and supported. So that's an ongoing piece that we always do. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Yep.